my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is The King and the Kingdom The Sherma on the Mount Let's read. Jesus traveled teaching about the kingdom of heaven and crowds followed him. <coughs> they didn't know yet that Jesus is the king, but he taught them how to live as people of his kingdom. So Jesus traveled teaching around the king, kingdom. Um, and lots of people hear what Jesus said. And Jesus told about the kingdom of the heaven. And Jesus also told them how to live in the kingdom of God. We have found the Bible gem. Actually, <coughs> <coughs> you will see many times that man and the child. Because in the story, right, they use the the man and child very much. People do good, said Jesus, because of the good and good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is there in their hearts. God wants to make your heart like his heart. So, Jesus said, people do good when... <laughs> When in their heart there is good, but sometimes people do evil things because evil is in their heart. So God wants to make our heart like His heart, like no stunning and like that. <coughs> We have found the Bible jam. Question Did you just teach the crowd how to live as the people of his kingdom? True. <coughs> Don't worry about things of things like food and clothes. So you just put God first in your life. Obey Him, trust Him. He will make sure that you have what you need. So Jesus told that don't worry about the food and the clothes because Jesus and God will give what they ever need if they obey God. Like they, God will give what they have. They need.
Jesus sought his prayer. Wait a minute. Dang. Okay. Jesus sought their prayer. Father God, your name is holy, risen on earth like you. Risen in heaven, meet your needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. So the end of the preach like something that we we say this prayer. Father God, your name is holy, risen on earth like you. Risen in heaven, meet your needs today. Help us obey you. All, all power is yours forever. <coughs> Actually, there are more people than this much. It is a picture, so they couldn't draw so many. Yeah. So Jesus called the prayer. <coughs> what is it that? Then Jesus told a story. One man built his house on a rock. A big storm came because the house was built on a rock. It didn't fall down. So God, Jesus was telling a story that one man has built his house on a rock. When a big storm came, it didn't fall down because it was made of rock question god raised on earth and has power to give us what we need true another man built his house of <coughs> on a soft and shifting sand. A big storm came because the house was built on a sand. It fell down with a crash. So, a northern man built his house on a softy shifting, shifting sand. Oh my. When a big storm came, it fell down and with a crush because it was made of a shifting sand. <coughs> the things I teach you are like the rock, said Jesus. Put my words into action. And you will be like the man who built his house on a rock. So Jesus also told that God wants you to be like a rock. Also like his heart. So if we put an action in Jesus' word, then we can be a like good man, good person. Because, like, Jesus didn't tell anything wrong. <coughs> and a good thing we should put an action on it. Question if we obey the words of God, Jesus, we will be like at the man who built his house on a rock. Yesterday, I read the Bible story, and it was fine, right? Then let's see you next time, and I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!